Well, Hezbollah says it is holding Israel responsible and vowing to retaliate after hundreds of pagers carried by members of the terror group blew up at the same time today across Lebanon. At least eight people were killed and many more were sent to hospital. CTV's Heather Wright is here now. And Heather, take us through what happened. Well, Sandy, Hezbollah has called this a major security breach. Thousands of people injured in what appears to have been a highly coordinated attack. Ambulances carry injured people to hospital after hundreds of pagers belonging to members of Hezbollah exploded at once this afternoon. So far, there have been more than 2,800 injuries, 200 of which are critical, Lebanon's health minister said. At least eight people have been killed, including a young girl. Among those hurt, Iran's ambassador to Lebanon, who had, quote, slight injuries. Hezbollah operatives have reportedly used pagers to communicate for years. They are harder to track than modern cell phones, and messages are less likely to be intercepted. And while it's not clear exactly how hundreds of pagers were rigged to explode at once, some experts believe they may have been intercepted and tampered with before they even got into the hands of Hezbollah operatives. And here there were multiple pagers that were purchased, but the pagers themselves were compromised. And when they got into the hands of the target, there was a trigger sequence that essentially caused them all to explode at once. Israel and Hezbollah, the Iran-backed militant group that controls large parts of southern Lebanon, have been trading cross-border attacks, which have escalated over the last year. Yesterday, Israel said it was contemplating stepping up its military campaign against the group, though today would not comment on whether it was involved in the pager attack. Hezbollah has warned Israel it will get what it calls, quote, fair punishment for this attack. Meanwhile, Israel says it is reviewing both offensive and defensive operations in the event of retaliation. Sandy. CTV's Heather Wright.